you say GPS to the average person, they may not know what it stands for, but they know what it is. It's about finding your way around in the world. The technology was developed in 1972, and it's still valid today. You can see that in today's day and age, when everything moves so fast, it was a very robust uh, technology. The technology of GPS has enabled us to be far more productive in how we grow food and how we deliver food, which allows us to be significantly more sustainable and to do far more with far less and start to tackle some of the really big problems as engineers of feeding the world with restricted resources in what is rapidly becoming a trickier climate. It is for security, personal security, personal utility, confidence, business, it's ubiquitous, it's everywhere, it's amazing. Traffic can be controlled, trucks and transportation can be directed, planes can fly in a much safer way. I'm rather glad GPS exists when I'm in a plane. <laughs> I think GPS is fantastic because it's, it's touched everywhere. For example, I work in the Panama Canal and we use it daily to transit ships in the new locks that we just built in 2016. We use it on our surveys every day for maps, for dredging operations. The GPS makes every activity of human beings much more productive, much more useful, much more comfortable, and access is free. They can map ocean currents to track fish populations, they can give us very accurate measures of whether the ice caps are melting. They can help make predictions about natural disasters and catastrophes. I was in India. In 2004, we had a tsunami. It was GPS who helped us save lives. Disaster management, prediction, etc. is entirely possible because of GPS. The technology behind the GPS system, when you lay it out in front of you, is outstanding. This is a good example of encompassing so many different disciplines within engineering. So obviously you've got spacecraft engineering involving mechanics as well as space. It's got data engineering, for example, in the code division, multiple access CDMA. It's got also being able to use electronics and an ultimate hostile environment in space. So we had to come up with very reliable electronics that could survive there. So atomic clocks and miniaturizing atomic clocks was absolutely essential uh, to making a GPS a reality. It is never an easy decision when considering the nominations for the Queen Elizabeth Prize. What we liked about this one was its global scale. All the winners, I believe, had, had vision in common. The GPS for me it's just a crown jewel of engineering. Any time when the Queen lend her name to any prize that represent tremendous prestige, inspiration to the engineers in the field. It's not just solving problem X, problem Y. It's about having ideas, how you use technologies to do really smart things. The QE Prize for engineering, I, I believe it is very important. It's uh, very special. It's ingenuity, it's creativity, it's teamwork, it's technology, and it's still valid today. In a sense, before GPS, we were sort of grappling around in the dark. They've allowed us to turn the light on, to shine a light on the whole planet.